Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this elegant seed bead flower earrings. By the way, I want to mention that this tutorial is a remake of one of my oldest and most successful videos in my channel. You liked it so much, but uh, I received comments that uh, you don't see what I'm actually doing because I'm hiding into it my fingers and also the quality of the video was not very good. So I decided to do a remake because I always listen to you what you have to say in the comments. That is why you could ask me anything down there and I'll answer to you. So uh, I'm showing step by step really easy and I'm sure you're gonna be able to make those earrings even if you are a beginner. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. And of course you could subscribe for new inspiration twice a week. I will be so glad to have you as my viewer. Down there you could see my store. I have a link for PayPal donations, link to my second channel with the fast clips and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I'm always happy to see your creations. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11-0 seed beads, golden, black and red. Here I use only two 8 beads. They are not obligatory. I use them to attach my earring finding, but you could use a loop of seed beads to attach it and skip those two beads and the uh, jump rings and here i use this copper color or old gold color earring findings two jump rings and i use monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters this is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers that i use to attach my earring findings if you don't use jump rings and those two 8 -0 beads, uh, you could skip the pliers as well. Now guys, what I want to do is take 4 feet of thread on my needle, which is 1.2 meters, and I'll be back. Guys, and I'm back, and in my first step, I'm going to pick up 8 of these beautiful black beads. Okay, I have 8 on my needle, and I'm going to slide those down. I will leave a small tail and stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made, okay? In this way I'm sure that my knot is really secure. This is called surgeon's knot or half hitch knot. And now I'm going here in this direction okay maybe a few beads away as well and if you want your circle to look really good you could make an additional reinforcement okay now my next row i want to be golden and i will take one golden bead and as i'm exiting here through this black bead you see where my thread is i'm going back through the same black bead in circle and you see i have something like a loop between my those two beads then i go in the next black bead and i take one and i go like this in circle one more time Okay, then in the next one, take just one, go in circle, in the next, like this. Okay, and I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay, 
okay guys and this is what i have i just repeated one and the same thing from all of those sides and now what i do as i'm exiting through this black bead in the center i want to go through this golden here you see i'm going through this golden and changing directions by the way until now i was working in this direction now i'm changing directions okay and what I do is that I take one golden bead and I go in the next black bead, uh, golden bead, sorry. You see? And I pull, okay, I went through the next golden. Then I take this one and go again through the next golden. Okay, guys, and I think you got the idea. Now, what I do in this row is that I fill in the gap between those golden beads. Okay, and I will continue doing this. And when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and I'm here at my last step where I'm adding my last bead in this row. You see? This is a really easy and pleasant row because I'm just filling the gaps. Okay, and now what I want to do is cut this tail thread because otherwise it will be on my way all the time. Okay, now what I do is that I reinforce this row one more time. Okay, so now I have this, my row is reinforced. And what I want to do next, guys, is add a row of red beads. Okay, and now I prefer to flip my work like this because I just prefer to work in this direction. It's not obligatory, but I'm right-handed and that is what I prefer. Okay, now I'm taking one red bead and I'm doing the same thing. I'm going here through this golden bead. Now, in this third row, I will double every second bead. So here I will add one bead and in my next step, when I go through the following golden, I will add two beads, okay? I have this. I show this in a lot of my tutorials how I'm making circle of beads around. The formula in every next row changes. In the first row, you have eight beads. In the second row, you double those eight beads and you have 16 beads. And in the third row, you double every second beat. So you double half of the beads there. So here, you have 16, but in the next row, instead of having 32, so instead of doubling them you have 24 because you double half of them and how you double half of them you add one here at one of the goldos and then in your next step you add two this is how you double half of the beads Just connect half of the beads, so every second one, with two beads of the next color. Okay, one. And then two. Okay, and in the next row, you double one third of the beat so every third beat you double and in the following row you double every fourth beat and so on and so on and you could make a beautiful circle like this okay and now i will continue with this formula 
one and then two. Okay, I will continue this and I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and I'm here at my last step, at my last golden bead, where I'm going to add two red beads. Okay, and you see now what I have. I started with one and I'm finishing with two. And you will know you work correctly if you uh, at your last step one and two are meeting. And uh, you, the other way to know is to count the beads and to have 24 beads, okay? So now what I want to do is go around and make a new thread pad. Uh, because you see how they stay in different directions. And now when you make a new thread pad around them, like this, you will make them stay nice and tight to each other okay okay i'll do this off camera and i'll be back yes, and now i have my bead staying in a better shape and what i'm going to do next is take two black beads one golden one red and one golden and then again two black beads okay this is what i have on my needle and as I'm exiting here through this red bead, I'm going through two beads like this in circle, back in circle, through two beads. I'm exiting out of this one. And I will make a loop between two beads in the inner circle and the newly added beads. Okay, you see what I have. Then what I do in my next step is go through the following two beads. Okay, because you said I'm hiding all the time with my thumb what I'm doing. Now I'm holding my thumb in this direction just to be sure that you will see. And here I have two red beads. And what I'm going to take this time is a little bit different. Two black beads, a golden, a red and a golden. Okay. And now I won't add two more black beads because I will use those two that are already there. Go through them and go through these red beads that are in the center of my work. Okay. And I will make another loop that is connected to the first one. And that shares bead with the first one, by the way. Okay. Then in my next step, I will repeat this. Go through the next two red beads, just like this. Take two black beads, take a golden, a red, and a golden. Okay, this is what I have. And go in these black beads, in these two red beads, and if you want, you could go in the following two red beads in this way you will save time you will do one move less if you go through the following two you see now after i make the loop i don't need to go through these two because i'm already through them in one movement with the previous loop i did okay now i take this again and I go here and go through the following two. Okay, and I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the last step where I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay. One more. If you find it difficult, don't go through the next two beats but just make the loop and then go okay now i will continue and meet you here at the final step don't do the final step just up to here and see you in a while and as you see i'm back and i'm here exiting out of these two red beads 
like I did before and now I need to do my final step and I will show you this one because it's a little bit different okay here instead of adding two black beads I will just go through them because I have them they're already there from the first loop of beads that I did and then I will make take a golden a red and a golden and here I'm not adding other black beads because they're already there from the last element that I did and here the first and the last element meet and they share those beads okay so when I make a circle this is what I have now I'm going through these two black beads and then I go here I hope I'm showing this work properly this time if you don't see something or have questions just ask me in the comments and if you're new subscribe for more projects okay so now I'm exiting out of this uh, red bead here you see my thread is here exiting out of this red one and I will take a red a golden and a red and I will go back here like this through this red one. Okay, like this. Then I go through the golden here in this direction. And I take one black bead. And then I go here through the golden. And through the red of course like I did before okay this is where my thread is exiting out of the central red bead and now I need a red a golden and a red go like this okay Take one, go like this, and then again a red, a golden, and a red. Go like this, exiting out of this golden, and now here I need to add one black. Okay guys, and I'm going to continue this and when uh, I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and when I continue this, I'm here at my last step where I want to add my last black bead from this row. You see where I'm adding it, removing my finger. Okay, so now what I want to do is go through this red one this is for my last row I'm going through this red one here and what I want to do is finish the flower that I started okay how I finish it I take four red beads okay I have them here and as I'm exiting through this red one here what I want to do is go through the other red and here through this golden like this and I pull and I have my first flower ready then what I want to do guys is reach the next red one to form my next flower okay and I'm going here then I'm going through the red just like this now I'm exiting here of this red one and what I want to do is take four red beads okay four and I go here and if you can you could also go through the following three beads in this direction I'm exiting out of this golden here that is just under my next red bead okay 
If you want to save time, this is the way. Okay. Then what I do is that I go here through this red one. Okay. Then what I do is that I take four of these beads and I go back like this. And in one movement, I'm in a position to make my next flower. I will show you also my next flower and then I will let you do this by yourself until the end. And remember that you could always rewind the video and see how I'm doing it and make the rest with this help, okay? Now when I pull, you see how this bit pops up from this side, you see, from this side. And um, this will be the front part of my earring. Okay, I will continue this and I'll be back to tell you how to finish your work. Okay guys, and I just added here my last flower. I went through those three beads. And now what I want to show you is how to add your earring finding. Okay, and in order to add it, what I want to do is go here through this first of those two red beads that are from this side. I'm going between them, so through the first one. And after that, what I want to take is one eight-o bead, okay, just like this. And I'm adding it, and I'm going through the same bead, but from my other flower, okay, just like this and then I pull and then my bead is here in the middle. If you want you could make a loop of seed beads and then attach your earring finding directly to it but now I want to show you this way with a toe bead and a jump ring attached to it and now guys what I want to do is go in this direction and reinforce here what I added, okay? My thread is attaching to the opposite flowers. Okay, so now I'm going here again through this red bead, the first red bead of my flower. And sometimes this is a stage where I use my pliers to go through the difficult beads, okay? So now here and if you want guys you could reinforce this uh, one or two more times if you can because sometimes the beads don't allow too many times to go through them okay especially the seed beads okay and now I'm here and I want to make a knot and cut my thread And I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going once and then going second time through this loop I've made and I pull and then I could repeat this knot several more times and when I make the last knot I go through the following C bead and after that, I cut my thread, okay? Now guys, I have this, I have my earring ready and one eight-o bead here at the top of it. And I will use this eight-o to attach my earring finding. First step, I take a jump ring, I open this one up and I go here through this eight-o. <clears throat> then I take this earring finding and I put it here on my jump ring and then I squeeze this jump ring back in the same direction as I opened it and then I uh, turn this joint here 
to go inside my bead and my earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my elegant flower seed beads earrings are ready, so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't. And in this way, you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you won't miss a thing in my channel. And I will also be so honored to have you as my viewer. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips and if you like it subscribe there as well. Thank you so much for watching, bye bye from me!